Okay, once we've finished our stabilization, we're gonna move on to glass management. Now remember, we have three different types of windows that we can run into out in the street. Laminated glass, most of you are familiar with. We see this all the time in windshields, but remember, laminated glass, which is two layers of glass with a layer of plastic sandwiched in the middle. Besides the windshield, you also sometimes can find it inside and rear windows on vehicles today. This type of glass, we need to cut out to remove it from the vehicle. Okay, our second type of glass, tempered safety glass. Tempered safety glass, remember, when it breaks, breaks into small granular pieces, unlike laminated glass where it's a sandwich of glass and plastic together. Now to break out this type of glass, you're going to need an impact device, some sort of center punch, glass hammer, or such like that that's going to impact a large amount of force into a small area on the window itself. It's going to break, it's going to fall to the ground. Breaking glass. All right, our third type of glazing is going to be polycarbonate or Lexan material. Now, whereas that's not all that widely available yet, we see it in mass transit vehicles, buses, trains, planes, and such like that. But in passenger vehicles, it's fairly new. Now, a good example to see it out on the street is the Ford Escape Hybrid, where it has the driver's side last window is also Lexan. It has the air intake for the positive pressure system for the high voltage battery. That's a Lexan window. That's not going to be broken by either our conventional tools, either for laminated windows or tempered glass windows. That type of material is going to need to be cut out with such as a reciprocating saw because it's glued in place. Okay, one of the things to remember when we do glass management, our PPE, whereas we're wearing our normal type of gear, helmet, gloves, gear, boots. We also need eye protection. We also need respiratory protection. Now we're ta not talking breathing apparatus, but when we cut laminate windows, we're gonna produce glass dust. Now we need to make sure that we protect our airway with such as an N95 mask or some simple type of dust mask that's gonna prevent that dust from entering our airway. And we wanna make sure that that mask is up when we're doing our glass management to protect it. Okay, to start our windshield removal, because it's laminated glass and we need to cut it out, we're going to start with an access hole somewhere in the middle of the vehicle, and then we're going to cut out around the peripheral edge to remove the windshield. Now, whether it's with a glass saw or a recip saw, it'll basically going to work the same way. You need to get rid of the peripheral edge all the way around. Same thing if the rear window is laminated as well. Okay, for glass management, we just cut out the laminated windshield in the front. In doing that, we used a glass saw. Now, a glass saw is a good tool for that, but also remember if you have side windows that are laminated, you're going to need to cut that out as well. Now, tempered glass, we got a combination of tools to show you today. A glass hammer, which we've all seen either in trade publications or wherever, where it's a basically an impact device. You're going to swing it into the corner of the window to impact a lot of force in that area to break it. Breaking glass. We're also going to have a spring center punch, which is basically a tool that's going to put against the window, pull the back apart, and let it slide back together, which is going to impact the same kind of tremendous amount of force into a small corner. Breaking glass. and also a spring-loaded center punch as well that will do the same thing. Breaking glass. Okay, when we go up to remove our side windows or any glass in that matter, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you announce it. So not only the rest of the crew on the outside can hear it, but also the EMS provider inside taking care of the patient. So when we go up to break glass, we're going to announce it. Breaking glass. Say it loud enough so everybody in the area can hear it we know what work's being done. Breaking glass. When the glass is broken and it drops out, make sure you clean the window out with a tool, not your hand, so your glass doesn't stick to the gloves themselves. Just to show you some different techniques and different tools to facilitate taking out tempered glass.